Welcome back to lesson 32. Working with pivot tables, gauges, and master detail linking. In this topic, you will learn how to create an analysis with a pivot table view, format and add a calculation to a pivot table, add a gauge view, and create a master detail linking. You begin by creating a new analysis with a hierarchical column and apply a named filter created in the first topic. To create an analysis, you will perform the following steps. Login to Oracle Business Intelligence Analytics. Go to your home. And then pick from the create, select subject area, paint. Create a new analysis that uses a hierarchy column. By default, the result will automatically include a pivot table when a hierarchy column is included in the analysis. Include the following columns into the selected columns pane. Regions should come from the market table. Brand should come from the product. And fact should come, and dollars should come from the fact table. So we will start with uh, selecting the region. Then we'll go to the product. Pick brand. Then we'll get the dollars from the fact table. And then we'll run the results. Notice that the results displayed the region, brand, and dollars which you selected. Then we'll include a pivot table view. So I go to new pivot table. The pivot table is automatically added to the bottom. So what we want to do at this point is get rid of the regular table view by clicking the remove view from compound layout. And we only remain with the pivot table as well as the title for the whole chart. Return to the criteria tab. Apply a filter on the Brand column, more options, filter, one enterprise, click OK, check your results, and this summarizes the results for each of the regions for the brand, enterprise, and the related dollars. Again, return to the criteria. Edit the column properties for dollars. Click the more options icon for dollars and then select column properties. Select the column format tab page. Select the customs heading checkbox and enter revenue in the column headings text box. Select the Data Format tab. Select the Override Default Data Format checkbox and select the values as indicated in the following demonstration. Change this to Currency. Then change this to User's Preferred Currency. We want to leave the negative format as is. So we want the minus to appear red, and we want to retain the two decimal places. Then we'll click OK. Go back to the results, and let's review the results again. So the results still look good, so we return to the criteria. Once we are comfortable that everything looks good in the selected columns pane, as well as in the filters pane below, we'll go back to the results. And at this point, we want to edit and format the pivot table. So we we'll go ahead and click on the edit view. Format the pivot table as follows. Drag the brand below measure labels. Then 
then drag the region to the sections area. Pivot table gives us a breakdown view as follows by region. Go back to the criteria and remove the filter and then return to the results and you will notice that uh, the central region breaks it down by column. Enterprise is our first product, then Magicolor, McCloskey, and Valspar. Then we'll click on Edit View again. Next, you add a calculation to the pivot table by duplicating the dollars column. You click the More Options icon for the dollars column and select Duplicate Layer. Notice that uh, we are now duplicated the dollars column or now renamed revenue. Next, we want to edit the properties of the newly duplicated column. So you click on more options. Then select format headings to edit the properties for the duplicate column. In the caption text, entry box in the edit format dialog box we will name the new column percent revenue and click ok click ok next change the calculation to reflect a percentage of the parent we'll click more options show data as percentage of raw parent. Notice that uh, the percentage have changed automatically based on the preceding actions that you performed. Click done and then save the report as report number nine. And then we can give it a description to see the table report with row parent percentage then you click OK okay it looks like number 9 already exists so we need to change this to number 10 sorry I missed that change it to number 10 then click OK the importance of pivot tables is that they provide the ability to rotate rows and columns and section headings to obtain different perspectives of the same data. They are interactive in that they are drillable, expandable, and navigable, providing the perfect vehicle for trending analysis. In the next steps, I will show you how to add a gauge view to the preceding result. To add the gate view to the compound layout, perform the following steps. You will click the new view icon and select gauge, then default. We want the dial default option. We will scroll down and you will notice that uh, multiple gauges have been created for each region and for each uh, product. Click the edit view icon in the gauge view to format the gauge. The gauge edit appears will minimize the settings pane. Next we will remove the footers underneath the gauges. First step is to click the edit gauge properties icon in the toolbar. In the titles and labels tab page of the Gauge Properties dialog box, we'll select the text in the footer, and you press delete, and then you say OK. Notice that uh, the footers of each of these gauges has been removed. 
Next, we'll change the size of the gauges. Now click the gauge size drop down list from the toolbar and select medium. In the layout pane, we'll drag the regions to the sections drop target and select display as slider. Notice that a new slider has been added to your chart and you can test it out and you will notice that the gauges are moving at the same time this is being tested out. You we'll click down and you scroll down and you will notice your gauges and you can test them out. And then once you move over, over with your mouse, the additional column details appear. We will save the analysis. And next, we will show you how to create a master detail linking. Master detail linking of views allows you to establish a relationship between two or more views such that one view called the master view will drive data changes in one or more other views called the detail views. To create a master detail linking, we will have to perform some steps on this same view that we created, which is report 10. By first, we will start going back to the criteria. Next, click the more options icon and then select properties for the regions column. The column properties dialog box appears, then select the interaction tab. In the value area, click the primary interaction drop down list and select send master detail events. Once the send master detail events option is selected, a qualification text box appears. You use this text box to enter a name for the channel to which the master view will send master detail events. This is a case sensitive text box, so care should be taken before providing a name to make sure that you remain consistent with the name. So we will specify the name for the channel as a region. So we'll go ahead and type region or in lowercase. And then you click OK. Save the analysis. Next, we'll define the detail view to which the master view links. You can add any view that includes the same master column as the master view. We'll click the results tab page to view the compound layout and click edit view for the gauge view. Additional gauges have been added. We'll click on edit gauge view. Then we we'll would edit the gauge properties on the toolbar. And then we'll select the listen to master detail events checkbox. Enter region in the events channel text box. Remember that this must match precisely with the text entered for the master view. We typed region in all lowercase and you click OK. Click on done and then save the analysis as report 11. And we type a short description saying listening to master 
events. And then click OK. In the pivot table view, the master view, select any of the products to drill down and notice what happens to the listening portion of the events. In fact, what we can do is we can bring this over to the right hand side so we can view it at the same time. And you can click on Magic Color. Notice that the report to the right has also changed and is now displaying results for Magic Color brand.